हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल एन एन लॉ दिस इज अ मेडिकल वीडियो लेक्चर फिजियोलॉजी ओके गाइस सो टुडेस टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सिंथेसिस ऑफ थायराइड हार्मोन्स सिंथेसिस of thyroid hormones and this is really very important topic for a medical student for a nursing student and even for USMLE step 1 examination so guys before starting a discussion on this i would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends so let's start a discussion on this the stages of the synthesis of thyroid hormones th thyroid hormones there are five stages in total okay the first one is thyroglobulin synthesis thyroglobulin synthesis okay the second stage is iodide trapping the third stage is oxidation of iodine fourth stage is transport of iodine transport of iodine into follicular cavity okay and the fifth one is iodination 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 of tyrosine and last stage is coupling reaction okay guys so these are the stages of synthesis of thyroid hormone and the first stage is a thyroglobulin synthesis second stage is iodide trapping uh, then third stage is oxidation of iodine then the transport of iodine into the follicular cavity fifth is iodination of tyrosine and the last is a coupling reactions okay guys so let's start with the first stage one and try to concentrate this because i simplified okay let's start stage 1 before that let me draw and show you how this acts right the outer box is a plasma okay the outer one is plasma right and the inner one is this one is a follicular cells follicular cells of thyroid okay guys so let's start with this the thyroglobulin synthesis you know that the there is a endoplasmic reticulum right and the golgi apparatus right so this endoplasmic reticulum and the golgi apparatus that is present in this follicular what you call follicular cells the follicular cells of thyroid gland syn synthesize and secrete the thyroglobulin continuously okay so what is the important function of that that they keep on secreting okay the er o and g that is a golgi apparatus ga you can call it as they completely sec secrete what you call uh, thyroglobulin continuously thyroglobulin okay i will write thyroid 
okay thyroglobulin remember and this thyroglobulin is a what you call is a glycoprotein of uh, nearly 140 molecules of amino acid tyrosine okay 140 amino acids tyrosine right guys okay right now this is what the synthesis of thyroglobulin is the thyroglobulin is synthesized from the follicular cells that is from continuously from er that is endoplasmic reticulum and the golgi apparatus right and this thyroglobulin is a glycoprotein containing 140 uh, amino acids of tyrosine right now let's move on to the second stage that's iodide trapping the iodide is actually transported from a blood into the follicular cells okay iodide from a plasma is directly transported here into the what you call follicular cells iodide right good and this process trapping of this iodide from a plasma into the follicular cells is known as iodide trapping because this is transported against the electrochemical gradient that's why we call it as iodide trapping and iodide is transported into the follicular cell along with the sodium and sodium by sodium iodide import pump this is a pump right and it is also called as sometimes it is also called as what you call iodide pump also so here you can see right good okay now let's go and move on to the next stage that is oxidation of iodide next stage is oxidation of iodide because we have to convert this iodide to iodine iodine let's see what happens the iodide must be oxidized to elementary iodine that's why the follicular cells can utilize this iodine to make a thyroid hormone we don't need iodide we need iodine for follicular cells remember okay because why the iodine is capable of combining with the tyrosine it is iodide is not able to combine with the tyrosine that's why thyroid hormone is not synthesized iodine combines with the tyrosine that's why we have to convert iodide to iodine that's known as oxidation okay right and there is an enzyme that converts iodide to iodine known as thyroid peroxidase thyroid peroxidase okay guys and this process is known as oxidation of iodide remember if there is an absence of this enzyme if the enzyme is absence absent or inactivity of this enzyme stop the synthesis of what thyroid hormone right good leads to hypothyroidism now the fourth stage is the fourth stage is first stage is this one we can call it as second stage is trapping third is what you call uh, oxidation of iodine iodide okay now the transport of iodine into the follicular cavity for example this is a follicular cavity we have to transport this iodine into the follicular cavity okay how will you do that there is an, a pump known as iodide chloride pump or pendrine iodide chloride pump or pendrine okay through this channel they enter in this iodine enters into the follicular cavity when it goes into that then it has to combine with what you call tyrosine okay and the process of this combining iodine with the tyrosine is known as iodination or io iodination okay the process of iodination the iodine combines with the tyrosine in follicular cavity and this is follicular cavity okay combines with the follicular uh, uh, tyrosine okay in a presence of enzyme known as iodinase right 
iodinase good now let this what is form it now when it combines iodine combines with the tyrosine the two things can happen one is mono sorry mit i will write mono iodotyrosine or di iodotyrosine that's it we are done with the now now let's see mono uh, iodotyrosine and di iodotyrosine dit mit if one molecule of MIT combines with the two mole one two, one molecule of MIT combines with the one molecule of DIT, then it forms T3, three molecules. Totally, that's why it is called as a triiodotyronine, right? That's a T3 hormone. If two DI, two molecules of DIT combines, they form known as a T4, tetraiodotyronine, right? So these are the hormones what we are looking for. And these hormones are secreted into the blood. Right, guys? Did you get me? Right. And this, the what do you call this reaction is known as a coupling reactions. What we call as a coupling reactions. C R. Okay. So remember. So guys, this is about the synthesis of thyroid hormones. I hope this video is very helpful for you. I'm sure you got an idea how the thyroid hormone synthesis occurs. Remember what happens if there is a deficiency of enzyme or absence of what you call or inactivity of thyroid peroxidase what happens okay uh, if there's no tyrosine what happens if there's no iodine what happens okay so these are the conditions we see in a as a clinical significance. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure this video is really, really very helpful for you. Okay, guys? And remember the one point I forgot to tell you. Two molecules of DIT here. DIT, okay? Combined to form tetraiodothyronine, right? So now this is also called as thyroxine. Thyroxine. Okay, guys? So this is about what you call... Um... um stage sorry synthesis of uh, thyroid hormones okay remember that sometimes one molecule of mit and one molecule of dit combine to produce another form of t3 called reverse t3 rt3 okay right remember these are the things you should know thank you so much for watching this video i am sure this video is very helpful for you if you like the video thumb up and please do share our videos with your friends thank you take care